Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I'm proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. Okay, so, you know, I'm 47 years old. I've been a Michael Jackson fan. When you're like that, you basically, it's your whole life. Even somebody my age, Michael's always there as long as I can remember, you know. So, um... I've seen it all. I've seen so many things with him and so many allegations and this and that and nothing's really, really ever phased me. And we've gone through the stuff and, you know, things right now in uh, the Leaving Neverland was bad and some of the things and it phased me away, but it still wasn't because I still understood there's, uh, I understood that the attack was very severe now. That will, that's one thing. That this attack is a whole different level. That this one is, this one's bad. That was the one thing I could recognize, but it still wasn't affecting me. Okay, but now, I, the things now are coming down and this one now is affected me in a way that, um, I, it's, <sighs> Like okay, I'll give you an effect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this for you here, and I'm gonna the what the how these people are talking now. It, this is what this has happened now. We're in a we're in a bad place, and um, here this let me let me show you. So this is from um, okay, it's E News. So it's E News Channel, I believe. So just really quick. I watch a show called Inside Edition. So as far as any of this kind of entertainment news gossip stuff, the only thing I pay attention to is uh, I watch Inside Edition and that's it. So these things, I don't know these people. I'm not familiar with these girls that are talking. That's one thing. So I'm assuming that they're on the E! channel. I don't know exactly who they are or whatever, but it seems, it seems uh, legitimate enough and from where it's appearing to come from this looks legitimate enough to me to make me um to make me feel in the way that i am so let me show you the beginning of this here are you surprised that mtv have kept it as a michael jackson video vanguard award because sure. i am very surprised i am too we talked about it and we i think we both agreed we're like there's no way <laughs> there's no way there's no okay so just right there off the back they're like, are you surprised? And we talked about, because at first they were talking about, because when, uh, when the award, they were announcing that there was the award coming up, and they were starting to have the discussion saying, should we remove the name? So now they're saying the award has been announced as who the person is, the recipient is Missy Elliott. And if she's totally deserving, she's really, really deserving. You know, I, I totally respect Missy Elliott, and I think everybody does, really, when you know how quality she is, she's really deserving of this award. Okay, so um, they're like saying how shocked they are because we didn't know what happened. We didn't know. There was no announcement if they were going to remove his name or not. And so they decided not to remove the name. Okay, so now with their decision, I think, and this is what's scaring me too. I kind of think that they left it there so that he could be attacked and dismantled. And I, I think that's what's going to happen right now. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm nervous in a way that, I've never been nervous like this. This is not good. What they're doing and the way they're talking about this, the way the no way, the way, and uh, this is these white women talking about this, like, ugh. this is this is bad. This is the worst I've ever seen. This is the bad. And, and then also we know that uh, you got the Lisa Marie Presley has got her book going to be coming out, that Aaron Carter book. So the things are in work coming, uh, are coming, the genera generating effects of this are going to be coming boom 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 things the dominoes are going to start falling now and i actually think that this conversation here is is the match that lit that stick and this this uh this fuse is lit now and um we're going to start seeing devastating explosions occur in the michael jackson world it's going to get bad so here i'm going to play some more i, mean, I keep stopping it because it's easier um like i like i said i'm not uh monetized but you still do have to work technically when you're using copyrighted material you have to worry about things so if i break it up like that it's a m lot more of the fair use uh technicality thing that i can use this stuff so let me play a little more no way they're going to keep it as the michael jackson award they'll just call it the vanguard award or they'll take a break this year from actually giving out the award they don't give it out every year so and they changed it it wasn't called the michael jackson video vanguard award before 1991 they changed it mm -hmm. so they can change it again what if they change it too what if they go up there they make the announcement and they say and the winner of the video vanguard award this year is missy elliott and in honor of missy elliott we will now be calling it the missy elliott 
Vanguard I would, Award. That would be quite an amazing thing. And I See, the other girl spoke up now. It's, oh, I would love that. It's what they're doing here now is setting up how the dismantling is going to occur. They're showing you here, this is what they're going to do. Okay, it is going to be dismantled, but... They're saying that is it, should it be done this way or it should be done that way. They're kind of like setting it up and they're going to hear the public opinion. And then after the public opinion is, then that's how they'll do it. And it's easier to do it that way. They said, let's not do it as a sudden instant. It's too volatile right now, right? So they put the name there. They left it. Then they want to hear the backlash because then the backlash will get a demand to remove it. And then what you'll see is over the next couple months, the name will be removed. And then by the time it comes up next year, nobody will be talking about it. There'll be no time. They won't talk about it. like so when the when the award comes up next year, nobody will say, oh, that's the former Michael Jackson award. OK, see, that's the way it is with the media and stuff. They just will not talk about it like is what they could have done easily here. They could have just not talked about it. OK, Missy Elliott's getting an award. They just could have flat out really not talked about it and just moved right on past it. But no, they're overemphasizing it. And then not only they overemphasize it, they are just piling on and kicking Michael while he's down. This is it gets worse. I hope they take your idea and they're watching life for me right now. I feel like they're not. <laughs> just call it the Video Vanguard Award. Like, that's what it should be, right? Take your name off of it. Should Missy when she- Just take your name off of it. Did you see how casual? Just take the name off of it right there. That statement, how she said that was like, <gasps> oh, wow. I, that's what I'm saying. We are in a bad place. When you're getting this conversation, and the way they're talking, this is no more where like, uh, they're, they're, they're talking like they're having a conversation, but they're not. They're like making demands and saying, this is the way it is. Like, well, be done. You guys, people are stupid for even, even thinking that we should leave it there. Just take your name off of it. Oh, it's really, this is She goes up and accepts it. Should she say something? Is this her? Should she say, oh my God. And I would assume that Missy Elliott, I think she's cool, and I would think that, uh, you know, you put people in a bad spot, though, when you've got it. It's like, what? yeah, should she say something? But I would expect her to defend Michael. But uh, if she does that, it could cause backlash. But I don't know. She's successful enough. I think she can handle it. But I don't know her personal things, too. Like, I don't know how she, she could be really involved with the Democratic Party, like things that I don't know. And uh, if she is then they won't allow her to say things. She could be being uh, manipulated by people. And I don't know, it could be tricky. Like I said, but I respect her and I'm not expecting her to bash him, but well, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Does she have a oh. responsibility to, because bear in mind what Wade says is that, you know, this is about not necessarily just him, but actually anybody who has been a victim that's the part too. And now let's bear in mind what Wade says. See how she's going to what Wade? Oh, well, Wade said this. Yeah, well, Wade, it's like, wow. This, this is really bad. And so, and what's even saying, like how they're doing this, I, and this is like what Oprah tried to do it. They totally bashed Michael, but at the end of it, they come out and say, well, come on, this isn't even just about Michael. This is about everybody. It's bigger than that. And they're saying, we're throwing Michael under the bus to lead to the bigger picture of salvation for all of the victimized people and stuff. And they're, they're saying that, they, they blatantly just say it right out too. But that's after they've bashed them and stuff. It's really weird. Of child sexual abuse. So it looks like it doesn't matter what you've been accused of. You're still like, there's not going to be any repercussions. See, now it's like, okay, it doesn't, that's that statement there. It's like, doesn't matter what you're accused of. There's not going to be any repercussions. Yeah, well, that's the way it works. It doesn't matter what you're accused of. It's a matter of what you're guilty of. That's the whole point of the everything. It's not a matter of what you're accused of. It's a matter of what you're guilty of. And these people keep acting like, did you hear what he's been accused of? Oh, all of the accusations against him. And then they're acting like that. that's the fact is that the accusations are so severe that we have to react upon the accusations instead of dealing with the facts. I'm just saying there's so much here. It's so bad. And there's still another that's minute to this. That's a kind of bad example. Oh, oh yeah. I'm worried about it setting a bad example for the children. Everybody, I hate these people worried about setting a bad example for children. Well, then take their darn smartphones away. 
okay? I didn't have a smartphone when I was a kid. You know how much of the stuff I didn't have access to and all stuff? That was the people back when, they were way better people. Now these darn kids have access to all this stuff. That's why they're so horrible and they yell at people all the time. They don't even know how to have conversations. All they know how to do is either, they either cheerlead or they attack and yell. They don't even know how to function as a normality within people anymore. That's what's happened to our society. It's so pathetic. Does Missy carry now if you're accepting an award? Because I didn't know, I, we also spoke about this, whether I would accept Oof. an award with Michael Jackson's name on it. Like even that far, they're going, like should she go up there and say, I refuse this name because Michael Jackson's name, like that's what they're instigating for her to do. Like, that's what I'm telling you, this conversation what they're doing here and it's like I can see them forming all of the thoughts that are what are going to be coming over the next year and that's why I'm devastated by this and it's I'm sick and these are this is what's coming guys this is what's coming it's so unfortunate that because it's I her. do believe it's yeah. so unfortunate that it's her this year though because she is so deserving She's of this so award deserving it's so long know. overdue and now it has it's like tainted with this like this she's been tainted by Michael Jackson She's so deserving and they're all, oh, it's so Miss Yelly. She's so the classful. She's so graceful and no, oh, she's so deserving. And now she's tainted by that monster, Michael Jackson. Can you believe that they just said that? Like, and this is being said in a very casual fashion on national television and this is this is this is bad. This is now the conversation rather than Missy Elliott's career. But now she's yeah, because coming. they're making it the conversation. Okay, see how they did that? This is the conversation. Because they've created that conversation. That's not the conversation. You think anybody out there uh, in the real world that was wanting to watch the short award show is carrying this like, oh my God, can you believe that Missy Elliott's gonna accept the Michael Jackson Award? Like, nobody cares about that, except these people force you and say, get people to start talking about it because what they're doing is generating the, the form of the conversation to come out. That's what they're doing. This is forming right. the so conversation. Not make him. But that's what I mean. It's not fair that like, expect, like any artist in this position, it's unfair, any but artist. especially Missy Elliott, who I feel like has been like overlooked and like underappreciated for so long that now it's like instead of conversation she's been overlooked and underappreciated for all so long it's like what are you talking about you it's like, <laughs> it's ridiculous it's like you weren't around when Missy Ellis was popping because anybody who knows Missy Elliott knows she was popping she was hot she was she was legit that's why I say when somebody who deserves a word oh hell yeah she totally deserves yeah, it finally this is so long overdue it's about well, does she have a responsibility? Should she not accept it? Should it's not long overdue. These are This is an award that you get after a long career of, of success and stuff. And after you've been validated after a long career, that's what you get this award for. And that's why Michael Jackson's name is on it, because he uh, symbolizes the long uh, journey of hard effort and, and perfection after, and persistence, all of that. And that's why he's there. And then so that's why these people get it. And she's saying, oh, she shouldn't get it. It's so long overdue. No, that's why. That's why you get this award is because it's long time. You've proven after a long time that you've stood the test of you stood the test of time, and your excellence is is what it is. She say something when she's on stage, and it really is unfortunate that they put her in this position because they did. It's not <laughs> Jesus fair. Jesus Christ! It's not fair. Okay, this, they stopped talking. It's not fair. That's their last words. It's not fair. Do you see how they ended it? It's not fair. It's unfortunate they put her in this, and it's not fair. And that's how they leave you, how they're framing the context of this conversation. It's disgusting. And I keep saying to one, all you people, it's like, okay, I flat out can just tell you what's coming. This is bad. This is coming, and this is bad, and it's going to decimate. Please stop this and start paying attention to my story. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to try. Please. This is bad. This is this is this is this is going to decimate. Please stop this. My story will do it. Please.